Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost Maths video on Key Stage 5 equations of tangents and normals. Now I'm assuming this video that you're already familiar with the concept of differentiation and why we'd want to differentiate. So we're going to use that principle to find uh, the equation of lines which touch curves and so on. Now suppose I have an equation y equals x squared and I sketch that equation, it's going to look like this, isn't it? Kind of smiley face shape. Now we've already seen how when we differentiate that allows us to find the gradient at a particular point on this curve. So if I was to differentiate this, we know that we times by the power, so the 2 goes on the front, and then we reduce that power by 1, so it becomes x to the 1, or just 2x there. And what this 2x means is that the gradient dy of dx is always two times whatever the x value is. So we'd know, for example, if the x value here was, say, I know, 3, then the gradient would be 2 times 3, it would be 6. And if we took the gradient here, it would be steeper. If we took the gradient here, it would be 0, etc. Now what we might want to do is to find the equation of a tangent to a curve. Now remember that a tangent is just a straight line that touches a curve. You've seen tangents in the context of circle theorems. A tangent is just a line that touches the circle. Here it's just a straight line that touches the curve. And let's say we want to find the equation of this tangent. Now if I was to tell you that the x value here is equal to 4, and I now want to find the equation of this tangent here, what would we do? Well, we need two things in order to find the equation of a tangent. We need a point on this line. Well, we know the x value is 4, so how could we find the y value? Well, we know that the y value is equal to the x value squared. So 4 squared would just be 16. And we also need the gradient of this line as well. Now, that's why we've got the gradient function. The gradient function allows us to find the gradient. So the gradient will just be 2 times whatever the x value is. So the gradient here will be 2 times 4, which is 8. And now we have everything we need to find the equation of the tangent. So do you remember this formula for the equation of a straight line? y minus y1 equals m brackets x minus x1. And that's the equation of a straight line that goes through the point x1, y1 and has a gradient m. So let's just substitute in everything that we know. The y1 here is the 16, so we've got y minus 16 equals the m is the gradient of 8 of our tangent, and then we've got x, which stays as x, minus the x1 is our fixed point here, it's the 4. And then we may want to manipulate that to get it in a particular form. But if they don't ask an exam question what form they want your equation of the tangent in, you can just leave it as it is. So let's use that to solve these questions here. Find the equation of the tangent to the curve y equals x squared at the point 3, 9. So we already know if we start with y equals x squared, we need the gradient function. So we differentiate to get 2x, as we saw earlier. Now we've already given the y value, so we just need the gradient. So the gradient, when x is equal to 3 here at this particular point, then the gradient m will be 2 times 3, which is 6. And now we have everything we need. So we just use y minus y1 equals m brackets x minus x1. So if I just write that again. So we've got y minus the y1, which is the 9. And it's equal to the m, which was 6 x minus the x1, which is the 3. And it hasn't asked for a particular form, so we leave it as it is. Now what about this? Find the equation of the normal. Now what's meant by normal is the line which is perpendicular to the curve at that point. So it's perpendicular to the tangent. Now it's very easy to find the equation of this normal. If the gradient of the tangent is 8, then what would be the gradient of a line perpendicular to it? Would well, you remember it's just a negative reciprocal? So it'd be minus 1 over h. Remember, reciprocal means 1 over, and negative just means we negate it. So if we apply it here, find the equation the normal at y equals x cubed. So initially we write the equation, we differentiate it to find that dy over dx is times by the power, so we times by 3, reduce the power by 1. And then we want to find it when x is 2. So at x is 2, well, the gradient of the tangent, so I'm going to write mt for the gradient of the tangent, would be 3 times 2 squared. So 3 times that 2 squared. 
uh, 3 times 4, which is 12, and that means the gradient of the normal, remember that's perpendicular to the tangent, would be the negative reciprocal of that, minus 1 over 12. Now, we're not given the y value this time, so we're going to have to find that. So we can use this equation here to find the y value. Well, y will just be that 2 cubed, which is 8. And now we have everything we need. So we do y minus y1 is equal to the m, so minus a 12, and then x minus x1, which is the 2. And let's suppose that we want it in the form y equals mx per c. Well, we can just expand this bracket out. So we've got minus 12 times x, minus 12x, and minus 12 times minus 2, which is positive a sixth. And then we just add 8 to both sides. So that's minus a 12x plus 8 and a sixth, which is 49 over 6. We've got a slightly harder one now. Find the equation of the normal to the curve y equals 2x minus 8 root x plus 5 at the point whose x coordinate is a quarter. Now it's just harder because it's a slightly harder expression to differentiate. So if we write y equals 2x minus, well, 8 root x is 8x to the half. Remember, x to the half means root x uh, plus 5. So as we'd always do if we're finding the, the tangent or the normal, we differentiate. So dy over dx is the 2x just becomes 2. We do 8 times a half, which is 4x to the minus half, because we did half minus 1. And remember, constants just disappear when you differentiate them. So we need to find the gradient and the y value when x is a quarter. So when x is equal to a quarter, the gradient of the tangent would be 2 minus 4 times a quarter to the power of minus half. Notice my use of brackets here. And if we were to use our calculator, but you can do it in your head, that gives us minus 6. So that means the gradient of the normal, because look, we're finding the normal, not the tangent, is going to be the negative reciprocal of that. So if we negate it, it becomes positive a 6, and then we do 1 over that, so it's a 6. And we also need to find the y value. So the y value will be 2 times a quarter. Remember, we're subbing in the quarter into the original equation to get y minus 8x to the half, that's a quarter to the half, plus 5. And again, if you put that into your calculator, that gives you 3 over 2. So then we just plug into y minus y1 formula. So we get y minus y1 is equal to the m, the gradient, 6 x minus x1, and the x was a quarter at this particular point. Now it hasn't asked for it, but imagine that it wants you to put this equation in the form ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are all integers. Now to do that on here, we don't want these fractions, do we, if we want integers. So what can we multiply everything by such that we would no longer have any fractions? Well, we can initially times by 6, because that will get rid of this over 6 and this over 2. So we times everything by 6. 3 over 2 times 6 is 9. Now, if we times this by 6, that just gets rid of the 6, so we have x minus a quarter. And now we still need to times by 4, so we don't have this quarter here. So we have 24y minus 36 equals 4x minus 1. And now I tend to put it on the side where the x is positive. So we have 4x minus the 24y. And we add that 36, that becomes plus 35 equals 0. Or we could put that 35 on the other side, so we've got that c on the right-hand side. So it'd be equal to minus 35. Now this last one is a bit harder. A curve has a gradient function f prime of x equals this. Point p lies on the curve. The normal to the curve at p is parallel to the line 2y plus x equals 0. Find the x coordinate of p. So if I was to just draw this to kind of show you roughly what's going on, what it's saying is there's a particular point P that if we were to find the normal to the curve at that point, that would have the same gradient as this other line, 2y plus x equals 0, which looks a bit like this. So that's 2y plus x equals 0. We don't care where it intercepts this curve here. So these two have got to be parallel. Now, Let's first find the gradient of this, because then we can reason about this line here. 
So if we rearrange this equation to make y the subject, we get 2y equals minus x, and then half both sides. That gives us minus half x. So that means the gradient of this line here is minus half, isn't it? It's minus half. Now, if this line here, the normal to the curve at p, is parallel to this, it must have the same gradient. So that also has a gradient of minus half. Now it tells you the gradient function here. Now the gradient function allows us to find the gradient of the tangent, but we've got the gradient of the normal. So if we found the tangent at this point, then we do the negative reciprocal of that minus half. Negative reciprocal minus half is two. Now we basically want a point on our curve where the gradient of the tangent is two. So this gradient function here, rather than sub the two in, because that would find the gradient when x is two, we actually want to find what x value would give us a gradient of two. So basically, we need to set that gradient function, so three root x over two, minus nine over four root x plus two. We want that gradient function, that gradient, to be equal to two. Now we just need to solve that equation and then we're done because we just need to find the x value. Now we can first subtract 2 from both sides. So we get 3 root x over 2 minus 9 over 4 root x equals 0. I don't like fractions, so I'm going to times both sides of the equation by 4 root x. Now if I times this fraction by 4 root x, that's going to just affect the top. So 4 root x times 3 root x will be 12 root x root x, which is just x. we still got that over 2. And if we times this by 4 root x, we just get minus 9 because it cancels that bottom. Now this nicely simplifies 12x over 2 is 6x minus 9 equals 0. And then 6x is equal to 9. And therefore x is 9 over 6, which is 1.5.